Y de la Jeep Cherokee 2014 vamos a la Canam Spider con Chas Rice de Bombardier Recreational Vehicles. Well, Chas, uh, thank you very much for the opportunity of driving the new uh, Canam Spider. Uh, this is a new model for you guys. Uh, you debuted it in 2007, I believe, right? Yeah, we, we released the Spider RS in, in 2007 as a model year 2008. Um, that was our first original platform. And then we introduced what we call our touring edition, the, the Spider RT. That was in 2010, and last year we debuted the Spider ST, which is kind of our sport touring. It's a hybrid between the sportier RS and the touring RT, so the ST is kind of in the middle of those two. Um, and then for this year, the big news is uh, we have a brand new inline triple 1330cc uh, engine in an RT. Okay. But uh, let's go forward a little uh, backwards sure. on in a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because um, some people don't even know what it is. Yeah, and, I don't, and, you know. Uh, no, even worse, some governments don't agree yeah. what it is. So, <laughs> some states. So let's uh, explain a little bit. Well, you know, immediately when you see it, uh, it's three wheels, right? Yeah, so that, right. that is radio. For yeah, sure. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, so everybody in their, their mind get a picture of uh, a vehicle with two wheels in front and one wheel in the, in behind. And so, you know, that platform allows us to do a number of things things and it allows it to be accessible to a lot of people who for whatever reason uh, have a barrier to to riding a motorcycle um, we're bringing a bunch of people into the sport and we're very very excited about our place in the market and our place in the industry and what we're doing and what we're trying to we're trying to increase the the, the share we're trying to bring more people to this great sport because you know everybody wants that feeling of open air you know the the passion that you know yeah. people have for the road we want to fuel that Um, so you know that that that's the easiest way to describe it: two wheels in front, one wheel behind. Yeah, I was kind of joking a little bit, but it's a serious matter because some yeah. some states don't agree if it's a motorcycle. Do you need a motorcycle right. driver's license? Uh, so what are the requirements of that? So well, can, can you talk about that a little bit? So we'll t we'll kind of go the whole spectrum. Yeah. In, in, for instance, in California, you don't need a license at all. You can go to your dealership, you can uh, purchase the Spider, and you can drive it right out the That's weird lot. because California regulates everything, yes. breathing almost. Yeah. <laughs> so it's uh, you know that's that's on one extreme end. Uh, the other end is a place you know. Let's let's look at uh, Quebec, the province of Quebec in, in Canada, for instance. It's in North America. It's the most stringent place to get a motorcycle license. Wow! Uh, it takes right. about a year. The whole process takes about a year to get a motorcycle license. So if you'd go to a dealership and say, you know, I want to buy a Spider, you would have to go through the licensure process. We we saw that and we decided to work with the, the government of Quebec and the, um, the government of Canada. Uh, you know, BRP is based in Quebec, yeah. so, it's, so, you know, we viewed that as a test bed. We came up with a, a, a program in, a, in uh, accordance with, you know, the, the government that basically we take that year-long process and we distill it down into basically seven hours of instruction. And it's a three-wheel specific to the SPIDER program. That is something we're using as kind of a model to bring to other provinces, yeah. other states, to basically go to the governments and say, listen, we understand that, that we're kind of introducing a vehicle where you don't know what to do with it. You know, is it a motorcycle? Is it not a motorcycle? Do you need a car license? Do you need a motorcycle license? The, the answer to that is it is its own beast, yeah. right? I mean, you can't do just a strict motorcycle regimen and classroom yeah. and, 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 and uh, have the same result. It's three wheels. It's different than motorcycles. Completely different and it really makes it much easier. I have the motorcycle driver's license yep. from the state of Florida yep. and I like, I like driving motorcycle, riding motorcycles but you still have the other people around. Yeah. This makes you feel much more safe yeah. even though you still have the other people around. Well, you know, there's the stability factor, uh, you know, and there's seven automotive technologies like traction control, anti-lock brakes, uh, um, stability control, uh, you know, semi-automatic transmission. There's all those those technologies in it that, that makes a, the transition from an automobile to the Spider easier than from an automobile to a motorcycle. But, you know, it's really important for us to make sure that, that, that people are learning the right way and that yeah. they are safe out on the road. Uh, that you know, as an, an OEM, that is our number one goal: is to make sure that people that are buying this product and using this product are safe, and in a situation where they know what to do uh, and how to react. Yeah, uh, and with uh, automotive technology comes like 
I mean, I'm going to say, like, more or less the price of a small car, right? I mean, yeah, what are we talking about prices here? Yeah, so the Spider RS line begins at about 17000 um, and you can go all the way up to our RT Limited, which is our flagship top of the line, at about 30000 And there's models in between at every single price point. We have different packages, uh, base packages, our S package, our limited package, and all of our lineup. And um, so, you know, really you can find a, a, a price point at, at where you're comfortable and what yeah. machine you're comfortable with. And, you know, the thing I always say is, you know, we do have great financing available as well um, through our dealerships. And, and then to be, I mean, the other part of it, like the great benefit of it besides safety and, like, the cool looks and all that, it's like the mileage is amazing, right? Like, you get a lot of... Uh, yeah, with this new energy. engine, with this new engine and uh, the RT, uh, you can go uh, up to 225 miles before you're even thinking about no. stopping for gas, which which it breaks that 200 mile barrier, um, and that's that's kind of the important thing when you're going on tours because a long tour because you don't want to be constantly stopping for gas. So so really you know and, and obviously how you ride is going to depend on you know yeah, what course. kind of mileage you get. But but in testing, our engineers at about 65 miles an hour uh, a testing regimen. Um, ran the tra- tank dry at 252 miles. That's so, pretty, that's so pretty it's, it's Yeah, you know, you, when we say touring, you really can tour with this yeah. vehicle. Okay, so uh, for more information about Can-Am Spider, uh, there's a web page, I guess? Yep, you want to go to canamspider.com or BRP. Uh, dot com and that's our, our gateway to all our products at, at BRP. Yeah, and uh, people who are not familiar with BRP, it's a subsidiary. Of, well, no, it's a standalone company now. It's like a Walmart standalone. Here, yep. Recreational yep. products. We used to be a part of that, but we were spun off. Uh, we make ski doo snowmobiles, Can-Am ATVs, and side by sides, um, uh, sea doo watercraft, and also Evinrude outboard motors. Uh, so you know, it's a it's an umbrella company. When you think BRP, we have all the different brands underneath, and it's been around for 50 plus years and it's a it's a well-known name rotax engines and it's a it's a very very good yeah uh, a lot of fun with your products well thank you very much again for your time and information hey thank you so much